Good day guys, Nat Sharky Short and here back for another episode. Tonight, as promised, a bit more night fishing for everyone. I did say we'd be here each night that we have left and I am a consummate man of my word. Here we are, got our landing rock down there, all prepped to go. Um, I am, however, very sorry. I went to the shop and they do not have any yellowtail mackerel left, so bit iffy on that I really did want some considering how fire it was I might have to do a trip into Yamber and see if I can find some there instead I did buy a bit of an, a replacement an expensive fucking replacement I tell ya whole bonito so I'm not gonna be using the whole thing tonight hopefully it's 12 fucking dollars for one so I hope I don't go through one a night so uh we'll cut him up use some chunks of him same type of fish same ballpark in the Venn diagram they have a bit of an overlap between yellowtails and bonitos so hopefully the uh, flesh tastes the same the fish will still be biting we have the shark rod here or the game rod rather I'm gonna shorten the uh, leader on that because I think birds nesting was definitely uh, detrimented by how long that leader was last night We've got to our 15 pounds here I'm gonna 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 throw out a bit of bonito on that as well I should actually also mention I did buy two big mullets so actually you know what maybe I'll throw a mullet on that one why not give everything a try and then on this one I'd like to say a big fuck you to pass Nat for doing that to me that guy's a piece of shit man fuck that guy what I can't look at him <laughs> future Nat is not happy now I'm gonna sort this out and I'm gonna be running whole pictures on that on the ganghook rig and hopefully we're gonna get amongst some large night predators tonight hopefully something different if it's not I don't care I just want to catch some fish let's get these out there and um Fingers crossed, get amongst something. <laughs> Check this out. Something's having a crack at this mullet already. Been here 10 bloody minutes. And something decided, you know what? That looks good to me. Nothing on, but I'm keen to see the state of our bait. With what that was, was it just little bait pickers? Is our bait torn to shreds? Is our bait okay? Let's have a look. All right. Well, it's probably decent then. Does appear to be somewhat teeth marky, so we'll chuck that back out. That's very promising signs. We're all set. We have whole pilchard on that one on the gang rig, shark rig, and a uh, big chunk of mullet on that, and a big chunk of a fillet of bonito, shark rig. Oh, hello, 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 hello. I don't mind being interrupted if it's like that. What was that? <laughs> Anyway, I'll finish what I was saying, shark rig and bonito on that one. Uh, sorry, not shark rig, uh, 80 pound litre. So, that's what we're running with tonight. Whatever this was, has decided to come and go. Killed itself again, we've got our fish just down here. Shovel nose, oh big shovel nose. Yeah, big shovel nose. I thought it was, I saw it from up there, it was either a shovel nose or a wobby gong. I thought it would probably be a shovel nose. Man, he's eating, yeah, he's a pretty decent fish. He ate a pretty bloody good chunk of uh, mullet, I tell ya. He ate a nice piece of mullet. Try and grab his tail here. If we can. He keeps trying to reverse his way out. It's not happening, pal. You're pretty well hooked. He's pretty done in the fight though, too. Ah, got him. Cool. It's a pretty decent shovel nose, I think. Oh wow, he's actually swallowed the hook. You're kidding me. How have you swallowed the hook? That was, how it, there, wow. Shovel noses, man. They're a greedy bunch of fish. Let's get that guy up there and sort him out and send him back. He's a pretty nice fish though. There's our fish. Pretty decent size. 
little shovel nose. Good fun on the light gear. Such an awesome feeling to these fish. <laughs> they feel really cool. Pretty awesome fish, honestly, in terms of their evolutionary, uh, their evolutionary history. Quite strange, half stingray, half shark, a little bit of fish thrown in there. Surprised I didn't, don't breathe air and just go full fucking hybrid, but. <laughs> ah, all right, let's get this guy back. Hopefully he swims off okay. He's been out of the water for a short amount of time, but he should be all right. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like he's going to be just fine. Oh my, there's a fish on this. Wait. There's not, is there? There's a fish on this, you're joking me. How? That run apparently was enough to hook up to a fish. And then just sit on the bottom. This has to be another shovel nose then. Has to be another shovel nose. It's so weird. This was on the Bonito this time. Yep, you better this. <laughs> That's another shovel nose. Oh, look at him go. He doesn't want a bar of it. <laughs> wow. So he ate the Bonito. Oh, you can see it all crushed in his mouth there. He ate the Bonito and then was just sitting there. So when we stopped the spool from spinning before, I, oh, alrighty, 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 alrighty. We got another shovel nose. Interesting times here. Very interesting times, which means the Benito has taken a fish, the mullet has taken a fish. Oh, don't swim your head into the rocks, man. That's a bit of a silly pickle move of you. This guy must have been hooked for a while. Oh, you mong. Oh, dude, you're gonna give me a heart attack. Swim out. Good thing they have tough skin. All right, I'm just gonna let you swim away. Just go, fuck off. Go away, into the deep depths from whence you came. Bugger off. The hardest part is getting down there to grab them, honestly. The hardest part is definitely getting down there to grab them. I wonder if I could... Um, yes, I absolutely could do that. <clears throat> maybe, maybe absolutely. How far is that? It's not too far, is it? No, that's all sweet. Whoop, everything's shaking though. But we're down here a lot quicker than before. And he's not getting slammed on oysters. He's only a little one, look at him. He's tiny. Up, 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 up. You mom, what are you doing, man? This dude has a death wish, I swear. Look at this, all the rocks are still wet from the first battle. Come here, silly thing. Jeez, you are small. How on earth did you think that it was a good idea to eat that bonito, huh, buddy? Look at you, you're tiny. Maybe there's a patch of you out there or something. <laughs> Come here, you. Wow, well there you go. On some bonito as well. That poor little bonito there. It's definitely gonna be, uh, in need of a pedidol, look at that. Wow, he was keen, man. He was fucking keen. <laughs> Jesus, I wonder how long he was there for. I wonder if it's the same one or uh, the other one that took, dropped it. I'm glad that came out pretty quick. The other one that took, dropped it. And then this guy came after, I'm not sure. Either way, that is a nice little shovel dose. He is so small. And he's really cute. I like him. He's he's cool. Good on you, buddy. You played well. Even though you did try to kill yourself. And he swam across oysters that many times. And look at that. No damage whatsoever. A bit of blood from his mouth from the hook hold. But there's no damage on him. His skin is that tough. Could peg this bad boy onto the oysters if I wanted to. I'm not going to. But <laughs> that is pretty cool. He doesn't really need to worry about the oysters. Or anything down there that's too sharp. Unless, um, I mean, a bull shark's teeth, you might have to be a little bit more sceptical of. Look at that, our other one's still down there chilling out. <laughs> be friends! Look at that, we're setting up a Tinder service for sho shovel nose sharks. Wow, so they just kind of sit there after they get caught. 
Oh well, let's get the baits out and see what else lurks in the depths. There's something on that. Tapped it for, oh, is that something? Hard to say. Tapped it for like a little bit and now it's spitting back line. Which is always interesting because line is not meant to come towards you. Where are we? Oh yep, there's something there. And hit that spool, let it take line if it wants to. There's something looking at it. Oh yep. Oh, you wanted to get hooked, didn't you? You really did. I wasn't ready to hook you yet, buddy. But you just wanted it. Now, what's this? San Benito again. So, definitely uh, popular. He's swimming away from us. Swimming away from us. Swimming up this way. Interesting. I'm going to walk up there now, actually. So it'll be easier to... Oh, well, I might need a net if it's not a shovel nose or not an easily nettable species. Let's have a look. We're right down in there. Oh, I'm going to need to change batteries in this in a second. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, swimming that way. Quickly swimming that way. Damn, he's pretty fast. We need to, yeah, that's where we need to be. On this rock here. Ugh. Yeah, he's pretty quick. And that looks like a shovel nose again. Yep, that's another shovel nose. That's three. Oh, oh, oh. They're good fun. I like them. This rock is going to be the landing rock. It's going to have to be. Yeah, he's not too bad. Oh, he's in between the other two we've caught. That's a mid sized one. Um, now, how to do? Well, the leader will hold. Where's he hooked? Great, just in the front of the mouth. We'll just pull him up by leader and grab his tail as soon as we get a chance. Uh. Hey, buddy. What's kicking? Oh, literally kicking me everywhere. <laughs> okay, simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. I'm sorry. I understand you're probably mad. Wow. You and your kind really do like Benito. Oh, he just fucking hit me in the dick with his tail. Ow. Oof. Ooh. That really stings. That tickles my pickle, literally. Oh. Sorry about that, buddy. I do apologize, but I'll throw you back in to the party over there. It's a fucking three-way at this point. Soon it'll be a uh, bit of a gangbang. Yikes. Oh, don't slip, don't slip, don't slip. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, no, they're gone, buddy. Jesus, fuck, what is that thing? You see that shit? I wonder if I could net that. Be an interesting attempt. Back you go. Oh, bit of a slap. It's a blackfish, I think. I'm not sure, though. Oh, here we go. Something just appears to have eaten our pilchard. Oh, yep. Yeah. That's a fish. Oh, yep. Yeah. Six pound line. <laughs> here we go. Now it's a bit of fun. Now it's a bit of fun. Oh, off we go. See you later, alligator. If this is a uh, shovel nose, this will be a fight with six pound line. It does appear that there's quite a few shovel noses feeding tonight. So that's interesting. Seems to be moving in fairly well. I'm still not entirely sure of what the fight of a shovel nose feels like, so I'm not prepared to call it. I really want a pike eel, man. I really want a pike eel so I can cut him, up, cut him up and use him for shark bait. Wanted to attempt that tonight, and if it works well or looks like it might, I'm going to bring the kayak down and kayak the shark baits out there, but there's no, no pike eels out tonight so far. Is that me over that line, or is that that line? That is me over this line. So, is it this way? Am I clear? Yep, I'm clear. So we're swimming this way again. I'm going to get in close down here and see what he is, although I'm pretty sure it's a shovel nose. 
it's good fun. He's not really running too much. Might be a bit tired already. Wow, lazy ass fish. Well, we're using three different baits and we're getting, if it is a shovel nose, we're just getting destroyed by shovel noses. So at least we could say we're trying different things. It's just not working out too well in terms of catching variety. Oh, he's nearly up. This was only on a really small sinker too. I didn't want this to get to the bottom. This has been out there for a while though, so it probably was on the bottom when it got taken. Shovel nose. Oh yeah, you bet. You bet it is. You bet it's a bloody shovel nose. That's four. Wow. Getting slaughtered tonight. He's a he's the he's a big one too. He's the biggest that we've got tonight. Look at him. Oh yeah. Yeah, he ate a whole pilchard, so he's he's pretty he was pretty hungry. And now to get down there and sort this out. The best part, my favorite part. They're just eating anything that gets put out there at the moment, the bloody sharks. <laughs> oh. Oh, also, we can't just fucking, <laughs> we can't just yeet it up because we're using six pound line. So I'm going to have to probably grab his tail will be our best bet. Oh, I should have brought the net. That's what I should have done. Jeez, he's a pretty healthy fish. They are such a cool looking fish. They really are awesome looking. And their fight is so much better than stingrays. <laughs> With a stingray, it's pretty, uh, Oh, it gets to be a bit of a slog at times, but these guys are, these guys come in pretty quickly. They, they don't, they don't hold back, I guess, in their first few runs. All right, now then, how to do this without being cut to shit, cut to smithereens. Oh, maybe I grab the, yeah, I might grab the trace. There we go. Jeez, there's one gang hook right in the back of his mouth. Calm down. If you hit me in the nuts like your peer did. Jesus. You fucking, wow, he was hardly even hooked. Look at that. He was chewing onto it. He just wanted to come in and fucking say g'day, I think. Oh, is that a decent way to hold them by the shovel? Surely not. Cause that's like the most sensitive part, right? I don't know. Anyway, there's a, uh, another one, that's four. So shovel noses, they're out in absolute force tonight. Coming out everywhere. All right, let's get him back. Oh, he didn't get to join the party. No, it's not a gangbang yet. Soon, next one, I'm sure. I'm fucking certain that won't be the last shovel nose we see tonight. There's a fish. Oh, yep, there's a fish. You eating the whole thing, buddy? Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, there you are. You came back for it, didn't you? You just can't say no to it. Come on, I know that little bit of mullet's very irresistible. Oh, yeah, they're a good food fish. Come on, man. There we go. Fish on. Oh, what is that? Oh, that doesn't feel very shovel nosy. That does not feel very shovel nosy at all. Oh, it's on the surface. All right, this ain't no shovel nose, whatever this is. This is not a shovel nose. All right, so on the surface, on a chunk of mullet, are we thinking pike eel? If so, we have some shark bait. That's for sure. Oh, he's going out again. Off he goes. Oh, what is this? It's pretty heavy. Whatever it is, it's pretty heavy. It's not really fighting like an eel though, so I'm not so sure.
Sorry for the lack of commentary. I'm just uh, kind of wondering what this is. Really keen to see it. It's definitely using its weight to its advantage here. Definitely using its weight to its advantage. It was a pretty fast, weird little run there. I don't think shovel noses come to the surface very often when they're involved in a fight. Why is that one bending so much? Have we gone around each other? Or oh, was that a fish on there? I think that's a fish on that one as well. This thing's really putting the uh, putting the mockers on us down here. He's just blocking. Not allowing us to get him in much further than what he's already come. Wow, there's a lot of little bait fish and stuff down there. Certainly enough uh, spots for a big predator to come. All right, keep coming up, keep coming up. No, back down, back down. Come on, man. Come on up, man. Here we go, moving him up a bit. This could be fish of the night, whatever this is. Definitely feels like the heaviest fish of the night. If this is a shovel nose, it is a fucking big one, that's for sure. Like a really big shovel nose. I just saw a glimmer of it. It didn't look like a pike eel. It's just down there. Let's see. That does not look like a pike eel to me. That's a... Oh no, that is a pike eel. Oh yeah, that's a pike eel. I, was, I saw the bait and not the fish and I was like, that's not a pike eel. That's, that's the quintessential pike eel. It's definitely a pike eel. Look at that. Holy shit. Look at him. He's a big one. Yeah, he's quite a sizable pike eel. <laughs> Look at that. What a fucking terrifying looking animal. Hey, how about it? Jesus, he's a big one too. Don't swim into the rocks, pal. Come this way. Head back out. Head back out. Fucking dragon looking pike eels, man. Crazy ass fish. All right, where's my net? Um, cool, I like looking and not seeing it. Oh, there it is, okay, we good. Uh, under you. And around here. That could be bigger than the first time we caught, honestly. That thing is a fucking beast. All right, oh, let's go. Keep that nice and tight. Oh, he wants to go. No, is he gone? No. He's fucking got us. Oh, it must have been around an oyster down there. Fuck yeah, must have been. Damn it. Dropped it. Man, it's been quiet. I'm not how to run in 25-ish minutes, which doesn't sound too bad, but given how tonight has gone prior to this, although we are using a giant fucking Benito head on that rod. Oh, there's something there. There's something there. Definitely something there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, buddy. What's kicking, my dude? He's still there. Where'd you go? Why are you kicking line back at me, buddy? It's not very nice. That's very odd. Have you got the bait? No, we are on. That's fish. He was kind of sitting on it, I suppose. Let me pause this music. Kind of sitting on it. This is on the Benito. Now, this is going to be our last fish, I think. We'll head off after this. I'm interested to see what that is. That was reasonably fast, I think. Nothing on the surface, so... Oh, no, has he spat it? No, he hasn't spotted it. Just a big head shake. You know what that kind of felt like, guys? <laughs> that kind of felt like, I don't know, the line running off the end of a, a popular household gardening item. Um, kind of like a spade or a... I guess you could say a shovel. Kind of like a shovel. Kind of felt like the line running off a shovel. So, I'm sorry, that's just a weird analogy. Doesn't make much sense. Anyway, keep fighting this fish. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Doesn't feel like a pike eel this time. Oh, that line just shot up. Although I'm pretty sure if something's gonna eat that bonito head, 
we're probably going to know about it in terms of our auditory uh, ness. Anyway, oh, this is a weird little fight. He wants to stay down there. Does not want to come up. Does not want to come up at all. Um, how, we've, how have we done this? Can I go under this? Is that all good? Yes, that looks good to me. Uh, all right, let's see. What do we have? That appears to be a shovel nose. Wow. Holy shit, guys, when I said it was like a shovel, dude, it makes sense now, because they, they got like a shovel on their head. Oh, 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 spicy, spicy bit of fight from a shovel, those. Oh, fuck you, line. All right, let's get down there and sort this guy out in the nicest way possible. Oh, God, that hurts my feet. Oh, are we on rocks? I hope we're not on rocks. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. No, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Too easy, buddy. Oh, how many even is this? I don't even remember. Pretty decent amount though. I think, so I got two over there. I think three here. Yes. So I think this is five then. That's pretty decent. Jeez, he's really uh, not coming up now. Come on, buddy. Up you come. Come on, buddy, up you come. If I could skull drag you in a minute, mate, you are making me mad. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> He's not having any of this. Look at him. What the hell? <laughs> this guy's great. I love him. Oh, now he's tangled. Well, you're fucked now, man. Played yourself. All right, Buck, Bucko, come here. You little fuck. Grab that tail of yours. That's how you do it. Let's get this hook out for you, eh? Oh, beautiful hook hold. Lovely hook hold. Well, tonight was a night of good success in terms of uh, catching a few fish. Variety wasn't the best, although we did hook that pike eel, so I suppose that was pretty decent. We got a fair few uh, little shovel noses though. That's uh, five or six for the night. Can't remember exactly, but good stuff on all the different rods, all the different gear. They ate bonito on the shark rod. They ate mullet on the shark rod. They ate a whole pilchard on gang hooks. They ate just about anything. So uh, pretty cool stuff. That's going to be all from us tonight. I'm going to pack this gear and head home. Say goodbye. Mm, bye bye. That was trash. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, look at his spines down the back there. Wow, that's cool. I wonder why he has that. That's kind of like on the back of a stingray. We've got like two... Oh, no, he's got four spines on the cross there. Sorry. Anyway, um, that's going to be us for tonight. We'll release this guy and uh, pack our stuff up there and head back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Off he goes. No, uh, no sex party for him. We are... Uh, <laughs> Did you know what I just realized? It would be so weird if you skipped to this part of the video and just heard that. Like, you'd be like, what the fuck does that mean? Anyway, we're getting out of here. Um, my headlamp's dying. Gotta put new batteries in it for tomorrow. But rest assured, we'll be out tomorrow night. Probably gonna bring my mum and uh, sister tomorrow night and uh, try and get them onto some of these because I don't think they've caught them before. So that should be pretty fun and pretty interesting. Um, and hopefully we'll get onto a pike eel and I can chop him up and try him for shark bait if all goes well. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. We will see you in the next one. That's Sharky Shorten, Fisherman's Diary. See you soon. Bye.